I'm going to take you through how to create and edit motions in Mech Designer 12. Motion Designer starts up docked into Mech Designer. I'll start by undocking it. The graph shows a motion over one machine cycle. So we start at 0, move to 90 millimeters, dwell at 90, and then return back to 0 and wait. From top to bottom, we have position, velocity, acceleration, and jerk, which is the rate of change of acceleration. You can change the motion type of a segment using this box. Uh, click in the area of the segment you want to change and spin the box until you get the motion you need. Edit the segment boundary values by clicking on the line of the segment. The segment editor will pop up for this segment, the only value we can change is the end position. To change other values, you will need to change the flow conditions. The buttons on the left control the flow. If the flow is on, then the value is picked from up from the end of the previous segment. If you turn it off, then you can specify it or let it find its own value. This time, I want the end position to be 20 millimeters. You can choose to use only a portion of non-polynomial type segments. You can specify the range of the segment by changing the start and end range. Another way of activating the segment editor is pressing this button. We can also change the segment width here and type here and edit adjacent segments by pressing these back and forward buttons. Sometimes it is convenient to edit a blend point or node's position without changing adjacent nodes. This is best done using the node editor. Activate this by pressing this button. You can now change a blend point's X position without moving its neighbors. You can also change a blend point's flow condition and derivative values. A blend point has an input value and an output value for each derivative. If the flow is on, then the output value is forced to be the same as the input and the motion will be continuous in that derivative. But you can turn the flow off and some segment types will let you change the input and output values independently. I have quickly run through how to use the segment and blend point editor. The next video in this series shows how to add, split and remove segments from your motion.